Good morning, this is Duane, your headless piano teacher, and Christmas is coming. I guess it's actually safe to say that any time of the year, isn't it? It is coming as far as uh, when I record this, but even if I set it January 1st, Christmas is still coming. That's the nice thing about Christmas, it comes every year so you can practice your songs well in advance. In any case, let's take a look at one of the Christmas carols uh, today that we can uh, learn to play very easily because it's made out of nothing but uh, a diatonic scale. A diatonic scale is those boring scales you used to practice as a kid that just run from one note up, eight notes, an octave, octavo, octopus, eight, uh, and all the melody is contained in that octave and, and no sharps or flats, no uh, accidentals are used at all. In other words, if I played it in the key of C, it would just be like this. If I played it clear through this song, you'd see it, it, it's within the confines of that one octave. Nothing higher, nothing lower, so it's very easy to learn, right? And the chords are very simple. You only use three chords, the C chord, the F chord, and the G chord. And you can use them in your right hand as well as in your left hand, of course. So in the left hand, I'm going to make a kind of a, a bass that goes like that part of the time. And I'm just playing the C note repeatedly. Uh, in terms of counting, it'd be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. See that? Okay. Now let's take it a little slower here. I established that left hand bass here, and in the right hand, I kind of have a frozen hand kind of deal going. I'm playing the C chord, but C's on top, G's in the middle, and the E's on the bottom. And I'm just going to leave my hand frozen. frozen I mean it's in that position. If I put glue on my fingers and just played each note going down all the white keys, I would that's all there is to it, okay? So you even don't even have to know what chord you're playing at that point. Okay? It's good to know, but I mean you wouldn't have to uh, just to play the melody there. Okay, so let's take it that far. They say, well, that's kind of dissonant, but listen. You, you speed it up, and it loses that, that dissonant sound. If you don't like that sound, then, then play, play the actual chord. Play C, G, F, C, F, C, G, C. Okay, because it's only those three chords, C, F, and G. C, G, upside down. Second inversion, F upside down, root position of C, first inversion of F, second inversion of C, uh, root position of G, if you want to put the seventh in, that's fine, and then the first inversion of C. So that would sound like this. Okay, now, let's, when we get down to the bottom here, let's, let's put a little amen on it. I just pull my bottom two fingers up one and then back down. Okay, let's do it that far. Oops, I'm sorry. I did a walk down instead of an amen. Uh, I was going to teach you the amen. So you can do that. Take the C chord, move it to the F. And then back to C. Or you could do a walk down. I did an amen walk down. In other words, I started on the four chord and went down to the one chord by parallel tenths. Those notes are ten notes apart. F and A, D e and G, D e and F, and C and E. Okay, that far. the F chord, I'm going to do an Amen. How do you do an Amen on the F chord? Same way, you take the four chord of F, which is one, two, three, four, four notes above F, which is B flat. How do I know it's B flat? Because in the F scale, there's a B flat. Okay, So I play the B flat chord and then the F chord. Amen. Okay? Now 
I think here we'll do an amen too. Whoops, that wouldn't work. <laughs> Let me do. from C to G. Neither one. And there you could pull your bottom fingers up in thirds and back down. Okay? Then the middle part's easy. If you want to go up an octave, do the same thing. get the idea. Come down the same way in the middle part. Since the song is built on a diatonic scale, you could play it on any any key. All you have to know is the scale of that key. For example, if you knew the scale of D flat, then you could you could just move from the C chord to the A flat seventh chord, which is the five seven chord in the key of D flat and D flat. And do the same thing there with key of D. It's written in the key of D. George Frederick Cannell wrote in the key of D, but you can play it in any key. So if you want to go to E flat. Now, I don't want to imply that that's the only style you can play short of the world, and that's just one kind of fun style. You could obviously play it any way you want. Here's a simple way. kind of thing. Or you could play it in chimes like this. No, a good thing to do there is, is to lay down some bells first like this. Like so. Or you can play it, you know, there's lots of ways you can play it. Anyway, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our free newsletter. And uh, we also have a, a course, of course, in uh, Christmas carols that uh, covers this and lots of others. So if you want to get up to speed on that, you'll probably want to look into that. So thanks for being with me, and we'll see you next time around. Bye-bye for now.